Oh, oh, well there. Well, welcome back to Seems Trick Garage. I guess we're gonna start with a bang. Um, so we're gonna start trying to make more videos more often. We have an actual camera now, and uh, you know we have a lot of things going on. So we're gonna try to bring in the uh, viewers, show you guys what we're actually working on, so we're not just like you know pictures. Anyhow, this is pretty sweet. This is a big old DCT pan we designed. It's going to production pretty soon. I just wanted to show you guys so you guys get an in on the pre-sale. If it's is, uh, too late, you know, still check out our website. You know, we will have it for sale on there. Um, basically, the BMW 7-speed uh, has a heat issue, and uh, another issue it has is the factory uh, gasket always leaks because this plastic pan warps a lot. So we try, kind of just tried to fix both problems and improve elsewhere where we could. Um, first off, our pan holds more oil. The more oil you have, the more heat capacity you have. Therefore, it takes longer time for it to overheat. Let's say on a track, it might be the difference between getting our lap in on your track day in the last session, you know, getting get that fast lap time. Um, it also might just be the difference between you know driving really hard on the, on the back roads. You can you know, enjoy your full day um, without having to go into limp mode. Um, so the increased um, capacity allows it to absorb more heat. Now, getting the heat out of the oil, we have these big old fins. Well, first of all, the aluminum uh, housing just dissipates more heat. There's way more heat transfer by using the aluminum over the plastic. Then we added these huge fins, kind of similar to the fins you have in this factory one. I think it's done more for strength, though. But we kind of took a little hint off that. We raised these up. Now, these are going to pull the heat out. You're gonna, the oil is, and on top of that, the oil is going to not want to slosh through this. So you're going to have less aeration for the filter and the pickup and things like that. Which is always good. That way, you know, you, you don't lose pressure. Um, basically, the, the oil pressure is used to give the clutches clamping force. So the more pressure you can keep, the better. Now, these big fins are milled, at a C, milled by, from a CNC. This is all 6061 aluminum. And on top of that, we have these extremely tall, you can see that, extremely tall fins in the bottom. Now these are going to help as the air passes by and while, while you're driving. It's going to pull the heat straight out. So you have not only fins on the inside, but also on the outside to help pull, pull the heat. And you might be looking at this and saying, well, what are these three holes here? Well, you, we know you're not going to buy a expensive DCT pan and then when you're taking your transmission out you know put it in turbo kit in or build your motor or something you're not gonna just slide your transmission on the ground with this thing I mean with this no big deal you know just whatever it's in plastic but this is gonna be a pretty gold this will be anodized gold for production this is a prototype but uh, basically what you do is you put three allen screws in here and then you can slide your transmission on the ground without ruining your pan this nice little addition we did now so more things about this pan. The thickness is, you know, pretty thick, but we put go to a thicker thickness in some areas, these boss areas. What this does is allow you to tap it to, to whatever you need. Whether you want to do half NPT, not a problem. Maybe you have an external cooler with a uh, auxiliary pump. You want to uh, run a second cooling circuit. You can do that. I have a three eighths NPT and a one eighth NPT. These would be for temperature sensors. So we have two in the back, great for moving fluid to the back of the car. We also have one on the side. This is great for you know a nice little temp sensor. Let's say you have an aim dash or something you want to add a little, an input to. That's nice. Now one of the big upsides of this pan is since this is plastic, there's no way they can thread it properly. So what they end up having to do is making this drain boss raised. This raised boss to have it threaded is why they slanted the pan, is so it could drain as much oil as it could getting over the edge. Since we have an actual drain plug, this one leaks constantly, this one won't, we're able to keep the pan flat. So the transmission is flat in the car, so the, the pan is still flat in the car. But now we can hold even more fluid. I mean, if you just compare it to, it's, it's not close. Now we will be producing a pan that is closer to factory dimensions the, at the deepest part. It's one and a quarter. So at the deepest part of this pan, it's one and a quarter. This is two, two inches. We'll be making a one and a quarter one without the cooling fins and stuff for the guys who are really low profile. 
but um, we'll have that pretty soon. Um, it's available, available in pre-order. We'll have the CAD up with as an example pretty pretty quickly. Um, but you know, it's still expect quality like this. I mean, this is made from a giant piece of billet, and uh, our drain plug also has a magnet to make up for the lack of the magnet that comes in this pan right here. So you'll still have the magnet feature to pick up all the metal and debris. And uh, one of my favorite features is the Viton O-ring. So Viton is an extremely pliable, like heat resistant, chemical resistant, oil resistant material. And what this allows us to do is have a reusable, fill, uh, reusable gasket in here. This one is constantly being replaced. I know a lot of people have gone back to dealer to get it replaced. This one, if you need to take the pan off to change a filter or something, you can just pop it back on. Chances are it's going to be fine. Um, we have replacements that aren't $200, like SSP. Um, it is, we, all this groove is made to Parker specifications, Parker Hydraulic, so it doesn't leak. Um, I mean, it's, just, it's just a much better solution than this. You can tighten it up without you know, having second thoughts. So just to reiterate some of the better points of this uh, pan setup, like I said, there's going to be a smaller one as well. You know, you have much more fluid capacity. It's more, uh, more cooling fins. Well, there's no point. Well, the, I wouldn't really call these cooling fins. They don't really do much. We have the cooling fins in and out. We also have the cooling fins that act as baffles for reducing aeration. We have the better gasket. We have the better drain plug with the with the felt with the uh, magnet. And we have all the bosses in the sides of the pan, so you can. Add your attachments as you as you see needed. It's as easy as just drilling a hole, tapping it, and ready to go. Just want to give you guys some close-ups here. Here are those taller fins that also reduce aeration compared to this pan. I mean, it's a big difference how much fluid you're holding. You can see again those big cooling fins that run up and down the pan. Saying it's a piece of art. C and C out of aluminum, 6061. This is that Viton O ring. Oh. Luckily, it's Viton, clean it off, ready to go. Here are these uh, three bosses, I'm sorry, three threaded holes. So you can slide the transmission on the ground. Your drain, it'll come with the magnetic drain plug. Got a nice little logo there. I mean, compared to this, this is just laughable compared to be, to be honest. But yeah, let's, let's get on the transmission. Let's put it on there. It's pretty easy. Let's get it done. Okay, so we have the DCT transmission up here. It's kind of taken apart. We're working on a few different things. But the main thing I want to show is how the how easily the pan bolts up. So the first step is putting the gasket in the pan. You're gonna take the Viton gasket. You're, it's, you're gonna run it through your fingers, and eventually you're gonna feel a seam. It's like very small. This is where the O-ring is joined. You're gonna put a little bit of RTV there, just a little bit, um, just a normal, you know, black or red RTV. Then you're gonna put it. In its groove, which is not difficult. Oops. Just run it around. You can RTV the whole thing, but it's really not needed. You just want to put a little dab where that seam is. If you are to need a lot, then this is more work to clean up if you want to reseal it later on. Alright, eventually you get a little bit of a little bit of stretch. Just gonna pull a little bit. Make sure it's all even. Alright. The uh, gasket holds itself in the in the groove pretty well. Designed for it. So next thing is to clean off the entire edge. We just did that with some brake clean, some rags. Just gonna grab the pan. The drain plug goes on the front passenger side of the car if you're on a left-hand drive car. Get 
one in there. Obviously, you might be upside down doing this in your driveway or something. But, uh, it's really. Ooh. It's really no different. Okay. Get a couple more in. And we will include hardware for this kit. So you can get rid of the kind of odd factory hardware. Just using it here to show you how it bolts up. We'll, we'll include a torque spec sheet as well. I'm just going to run this in. But unlike the plastic piece, you know, the, the aluminum is so much more stiff that even torquing, it's obviously you, you want to do that, but it's much less needed. One more. All right. So then you torque them all. We include, we'll include the torque spec, like I said. You have yourself an oil pan. Um, one more thing is that the factory heat shield for the mechatronics, we still have the holes for them. So you can take the factory hardware for the mechatronics heat shield and put it on there. Bam. True OEM type replacement here. I mean, how do you even fit better than that? Give you guys a closer look. Here we have the pan attached. The factory mechatronics heat shield. You can work with the factory hardware. You just bolt it back up. I have a couple of random bolts in here holding the pan on. As you can see, yeah, it is beautiful. Back here, we have our ports. Oop, right here, right here. This is 3 8 1 8 um, These are optional. We just give you the thickness here to drill through for ports if you need them, if you, or if you don't, no worries at all. Here's the, here's the third thick area for drilling for a port. Give you an idea of the cooling fins. But yeah, as easy as that. Like, subscribe, check out our website, or not, you know. Let us know what you think. I mean, this pan is sweet. We're going to have a slimmer version for guys who have super low uh, ride heights. For me, I mean, I'll probably be a little low, but, you know, but luckily it's durable aluminum. If you give it a little bang, not the end of the world. Production units, again, will be gold. This is just a prototype. Check out our website for pricing. There's a pre-order going on. Maybe you can get in on it, depending on when you see this video. And uh, we're also going to have a couple of other cool things, like, Controllers and paddle shift kits for them, like standalone controllers, park brake operating kit, so you can uh, operate this mechanism for using the parking brake, uh, you know, I'm just not just locking it out. We have adapters for the back here, going to a normal 1350 U-joint, and uh, of course, we're always keeping an eye out for a uh, kind of a, a better solution to making custom flywheels and such. So we're working on this type of stuff. This is going in our Tamatak E46 car. Uh, keep an eye out for videos on that. It's going to be a pretty cool build. We have a Turbo M52 this year. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Catch you later.